So just going to hop on one side, drive those knees in three times. And then you'll go to the other side. One, two, three, switch over. One, two, three. So you're kind of going to travel just a little bit. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Just imagine kind of bringing your knees and your hands together and then just hopping with the other leg. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. So you're going to do five of my knees and then kick, kick. One, two, three, four, five. Kick, kick. Dumbbell run. So you're going to have two weights in your hands. And you're going to do a jog in place while bringing those weights up and doing a curl. So it's just like this. Side jab. So you're going to do a jumping jack and then you're going to turn and punch out from that side. So you want a weight on the ground in front of you. You're going to reach down, grab it, snatch it all the way up. Now alternate, snatch it all the way up. Just, just continuously do this movement in a nice controlled manner. So plank position, you want to drive your knees in for about seven mile climbers, and then drop each elbow down, up, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down, down, up, up. cable machine, then I'll show it to you with the regular weights in case you don't have access to a cable machine. So you're going to take uh, the weight, you want to be in a squatted position, reverse grip, I need your palms are facing up, and you want to drive it in toward your chest, squeeze those back muscles. Now if you don't have a cable machine, we'll do it the same way, palms facing up, Nice and low, and drive those weights in toward your, um, I guess, kind of like by your ribs, and then out. Cable reverse grip low row. So I'm going to show it to you first on a cable machine, then I'll show it to you with the regular weights in case you don't have access to a cable machine. So you're going to take uh, the weight. You want to be in a squatted position, reverse grip, that means your palms are facing up, and you want to drive it in toward your chest, squeeze those back muscles. Now if you don't have a cable machine, we'll do it the same way. Palms facing up, nice and low, and drive those weights in toward your, um, I guess, kind of like by your ribs, and then up. Cable reverse grip low row. So I'm going to show it to you first on a cable machine, then I'll show it to you with the regular weights in case you don't have access to a cable machine. So you're going to take uh, the weight, you want to be in a squatted position, reverse grip, that means your palms are facing up, and you want to drive it in toward your chest. Those back muscles. Now, if you don't have a cable machine, we'll do it the same way. Palms facing up, nice and low, and drive those weights in toward your, um, I guess, kind of like by your ribs. show it to you with the 
regular weights in case you don't have access to a cable machine. So you're gonna take uh, the weight. You wanna be in a squatted position. Reverse grip. That means your palms are facing up. And you wanna drive it in toward your chest. Squeeze those back muscles. Now if you don't have a cable machine, we'll do it the same way. Palms facing up. Nice and low, and drive those weights in toward your, um, I guess, kind of like by your ribs, and then out. Pull downs. So you're gonna bring the weights straight up overhead, and then you're just going to bring them down right behind your head, and back up. So bring them down behind your head and up. Single arm hanging bicep curl. So you wanna hang against something, weight in your hand, and you're just going to do a bicep curl. The hanging portion obviously creates more resistance, so it makes it harder to do the curl. Pull downs. So you're gonna bring the weights straight up overhead and then you're just going to bring them down right behind your head and back up so bring them down behind your head and up single arm hanging bicep curl so you want to hang against something weight in your hand and you're just going to do a bicep curl the hanging portion obviously creates more resistance, so it makes it harder to do the curl. Pull downs. So you're gonna bring the weights straight up overhead, and then you're just going to bring them down right behind your head, and back up. So bring them down behind your head, and up. Single arm hanging bicep curl. So you want to hang against something, weight in your hand, and you're just going to do a bicep curl. The hanging portion obviously creates more resistance, so it makes it harder to do the curl. Pull downs. So you're going to bring the weights straight up overhead, and then you're just going to bring them down right behind your head, and back up. So bring them down behind your head, and up. Single arm hanging bicep curl. So you want to hang against something, weight in your hand, and you're just going to do a bicep curl. The hanging portion obviously creates more resistance, so it makes it harder to do the curl. Extended upper curls. So you're going to place the weights out in front of you. I want to say about chest level and then you're going to bring them up to your shoulder, you're gonna do a curl, and then extend them back out. So you're gonna keep, this, keep them at this upper level like this. Single arm wide curl, so one weight in your hand, and you want to have your palm facing out. So as opposed to having it in front of you for a regular bicep curl, wide just means that you're kind of at your hip and you're coming up at your side like this. Single arm drag curl, so you're gonna have the weight in front of you, arm extended straight out, and then you're going to drag the weight in toward kind of like right under your breast and then back down. So you see how it comes straight up here and then straight out. Dragging that weight in. Hands over plate puller. So if you have one of these type of plate pull, uh, plate weights, then you'll use that. If not, you just use a regular weight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend over, hold the weight um, straight underneath your chest, and then you're just going to pull it in towards your chest and squeeze and back out. In and out. bench you'll use the bench if not you'll just lay on the floor and do it the weight in your hand 
and you're going to drop it behind your head, back up. So you want to drop it as low as you can behind your head if you're on this elevated surface. If not, then obviously you'll have the limitation of the floor to stop you. Shoulder press. So you want your weights in your hands, palms facing your body. The weight should be in line with your chin. So you're going to press the weight straight up above you and then bring them behind your head. Back up and down to chin level. So press straight up, drop them back. So you're just bending at your elbow, bring them straight back up and down to your chin. So this is your motion. toward your knees to do like a crunch and then you're going to drop your legs down and then bring the ball behind your head so knees up up and crunch drop your knees ball behind your head a bench lying leg lift and lift so you can be on a bench that would be great if you want to if not I'll show it to you on the floor um, you're going to hold um, behind you so what you can do is you're gonna lift your legs up and then bring them down. Up and down. So on the floor, if you can anchor yourself to something, whether it's a heavy weight, um, and just do the same exact thing. to extend out, lean back, hold on, and then you're going to raise them up while bringing your body, your torso forward as well, and then back down. So up and down, up and down. twist with arm extension. So you want to hold the horns of the kettlebell, which is like the sides of the kettlebell. You're going to turn it upside down, feet together, and then you're going to turn to the side and twist and kind of like um, extend your arm out and lift the kettlebell out. Twist and extend out. Extend. Twist and extend your arm. Abs sit up and twist back. So you want to sit down on your mat. You want to lean back, knees bent. Hold your hands together. What you're going to do is you're going to lean back, touch your elbow to the ground, up, lean back to the other side. So twist back, up. Half Russian twist. So you're going to lean back, you want to hold the weight right above your knees, and then what you're going to do is you're going to just bring it over to one side. Stay on one side at a time for 
an added challenge, you'll raise your legs off the ground and walk to your side. Then make sure you do the same amount on the other side. Swing the leg knee in. So you're going to twist your torso and you want to hold your knee, place one arm around your knee, the other one can either be on the floor or you can just leave it up. You want to extend your other leg and drive it in toward your chest, in and out. All while keeping your torso twisted. So for a little bit of assistance with balance, you'll place your hand on the floor. And then you'll do the same amount on the other side. slide extension so you can have your gliders, your towel, your paper plate, whatever you're using in your hands. You're going to lay flat um, on your stomach and then you're going to bring your arms around in a circle motion while lifting your chest off the floor and meeting it together here. Bring it back out in a circle motion. So you're almost going to draw a circle with your body. This will work your lower back. Cobra. So you're going to lay down on your stomach, you want your sliders or your towel, paper plate in your hands. So everything's going to be extended straight out. Then you're going to slide your sliders in toward your body and just raise your chest and back down. Raise up and extend out. So raise up and bring your chest up a little bit and back straight down. Cobra push. So you're going to lie down on your stomach. Hands by your chest. And you're just going to push up as far as you can and back down. Push up. This will work your lower back. Thank you. 